Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we're going to be making a return of the Lex challenge. So again, I collaborated with Lex to give you guys the best tips and he's challenged me to uh, obviously win the championship challenge with the worst comp. So I've been playing with two of the best players in the world. It's Drage on his mini account and Tom on his mini account. So big shout out to uh, those two as well. So obviously it depends on whether you've got good teammates as well for this challenge. So I'll put both their links in the description below. But we're going to be attempting this with some really bad compositions. Hopefully we'll get 15 and an O and qualify. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. All right, guys, moving into the third game actually of this set, but obviously the first game of the video. Lex did challenges to use Primo. Dynamite and Lou on Minecart Madness. So Primo can actually be okay in the early stages because as you see, there's a lot of tanks. There's Bull and you've got uh, BB. And also in the early stages, you're not going to be facing the best of players. So it shouldn't be too bad. This Bull's actually going to manage to kill us. And basically, only Drage is left alive. But we should be still fine to carry on and win this game. So really, uh, really... Good combo from them guys yeah sorry noob yeah sorry noob you're going to die yeah let's see if he goes on the way back oh he's sliding in oh damn it everyone's actually going down here <laughs> even dredge one <laughs> dredge part of my god is a dead as well i think everyone's just having a laugh with these games but for some reason this time around i don't know if anyone was really as, ex as excited as before for this championship challenge but it never really got as much traction as before like my video normally my uh championship challenge guide gets like number one on my uh tracking if you get what i mean like the number one trending video on my channel but it didn't seem to do too well so let me know whether you guys are still going to be competing in this one if you guys are kind of just falling out of love with the championship challenge normally it's the most hype thing of the year drage gonna be dying to the minecart again and so is tom uh i don't know what they're really doing but for whatever reason <laughs> they're gonna get like the entire sea of the gems tom and drage are gonna take them both down i think they're both trying to be comedians at the moment but we're gonna be winning this. <laughs> we're gonna be winning this game. Don't worry about it. BB's gonna knock us back. We're gonna get taken down. To be honest, I've really not done anything other than just chatter to nonsense because it's the first round. We're gonna be winning that game pretty easily. But again, we're gonna be hopping into the third game of the set on every single set. So let's jump straight into that. Right, guys, heading into the next game of Bouncing then. So we've won both our games uh, pretty much pretty easily. Up until now so primo tara shelly Pro definitely this is going to be like the worst combo i can think of on this map we're actually facing a really sweaty combo so gotta actually try for this one i imagine the first uh, team that we faced weren't really the best so uh, i can imagine this one's gonna be much harder so what we're gonna be working towards is drage's super drage is by far the best brawler on this map in terms of like our comp so i've got to try and revolve around that one i've got my band-aid pretty soon should be able to kill this Mr. P, if the porters don't get my way all the time. Tom is in their spawn right now trying to get his super. Doesn't really matter the amount of deaths we get at the beginning because obviously Primo can't do anything without super. So he needs to keep going in over and over again. Uh, Drage does have super. He's going to pull the, uh, the Piper. Piper's going to jump though. We've got a Mr. P in spawn here. Should be able to take him down. We've also got a tick in spawn. I'm going to probably die here. Yep, surely I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Four stars up. Okay. Got to keep the pressure up. Though. Can't get pushed back. Got a nice kill from Tom there. I think they're both carrying me. Yes, Tom with another kill. He's going to get taken down. Four star lead at the moment. 50 seconds left. He's going to clay pigeons at Mr. P. Yeah, these ports are going to be the bane of my existence at the moment. All right, super triad mode. It's only the second round, but honestly, these guys are putting up a bit of a fight. They're putting up a bit of a fight. We've got Tom jumping in here. He's going into their spawn. <laughs> they probably can't actually kill him because he's got so much HP. I'll just I'll just leave him be. Yeah, I will leave him be. Five stars up. We can't allow Drage to die. Okay, let's go a little bit aggro here. Let's see. We've got our band-aid activated in a second. We're going into their spawn, taking all the aggression possible. I'm going to stun them towards Tom. Hopefully, he can get some kills. He's going to be able to do so. I'm going to be able to win this game pretty comfortably. I'd say that's pretty comfortable considering we're using El Primo in Bounty. But that's right, guys. Hopping into the final game of Siege then. Unfortunately, we have got one loss already on Siege. Ah, uh, it, was, it, it was really bad. So basically, I won't give too many excuses. We are not using the worst comp possible. But like, they had an 8-bit on defense and they had turret. And we drew the first one. And then 8-bit got turret and he defended literally flawlessly. It was really, really painful. It was like, no other brawler that can defend it as well as 8-bit, which is kind of crazy reason why we lost but uh as long as we're going to win the challenge i would, won't really mind so I do go down there see if drage is able to finish off the kill 
Okay, so Lex uh, challenged me with Edgard. I don't think Edgard's the worst here. I don't think he's the best either. Definitely could have been a little bit worse. Probably like a Piper or something like that. But Crow and Shelly are really, really bad on this map. Like, horrendous. So, so bad. <laughs> At least Tom can, like, jump in and deal a lot of damage to the Ike one. Okay, nice. We're able to get Jesse down. So, it's really important we get literally every single boss. It can be really hard, obviously, because we've got Shelly on our side. But it's so, so important to try and get every single one. Let's try and get down the Sprout. The Sprout does, for some reason, just go in. I'm just going to go ahead and get that bolt. Can I get it in time? No. At least I'm going to deliver it back to Drage. <laughs> but we've got uh, five bolts for this one. And we should be getting enough bolts for the last one as well. So not too looking too bad at all here. All these guys over here. The problem is with Edgar, I don't really have a chance to jump on top of these guys. Which is really annoying. Okay, I'll just Jesse on defense. I'm going to heal up, wait for them to respawn, and then go on in. So let's try and end it here. Tom with a jump, me with a jump, and Drage going in. PSG Shelly on the Ike. Let's see if we're going to end it. Literally one shot. No way. If we don't get it here. No way. <laughs> Tom is shooting at Drage. <laughs> Tom is angry. He is big angry. But regardless, we should be able to finish this with just one jump. We're really close to jump here, so I'm going to try and get Jesse back. Let's see. Okay, I don't think we're going to be able to get this around yet. We really need to end it here. We really need to end it. All of my teammates are going down here. Let's see if we can sneak off down the left. Tom is going to jump in. And he's going to... No. Is that going to go down? 202. 52. Oh, wow. Clutch from Tom in the end there. That would have been so close to where we could actually get that. So that's going to be the wins for Siege. Let's open to the fourth set. All right, guys. Heading into the final game of Hot Zone. We've got a super sweaty comp on our hands again. We faced two really hard combos. Managed to win them both. So we've got Piper. We've been challenged here. So Piper is... Awful, but once you get one wall break, you can actually break up this right hand lane, and then me and Tom can just basically dominate anyone. Nice from Tom. Okay, nice. We're able to survive the first encounter. That's really, really important. I'm one shot away from my super as well. So once I get that, should be okay. Dre's doing a really good job with the BB down that lane. So we'll play to him. He's gonna get taken down though, but isn't the end of the world. That is the aggressive lane. It's gonna be the harder lane to take, anyways. As I said, I need one more shot to my super. Just gonna wait for someone to actually come over here. I've had to waste two shots. He's going to break it open regardless. So I don't know why he really did that. Because it's just going to help us in the long run. We're going to take these both down. And I'm just going to walk up here and break this lane. Just to make sure we can kill everyone coming in. So this is going to be really easy. This is actually a strategy we do a lot of times in scrims. Obviously not Piper. But with B, we'll use like a Frank and a Primo to actually open up the map. And it's much, much easier to just destroy anyone in your way. These sandbags are actually really annoying. Okay, this is going to be a close game. They're getting some, a lot of percentage back on us here. Let's just knock back this BB. BB should be able to go down. Ruff's really weak as well. These sandbags are the bane of our existence right now. We're able to get the Ruff's down though. Okay, this should be a clutch. We just need this right-hand lane. So do they as well. Got we'll to keep these guys back in time. Let's jump back to try and knock them back. I'm going to get a double kill with our... Uh, super here. I'm going to be able to clutch it up. Wow, super intense game in Hot Zone there. Let's end off on the final set. Right, guys, hopping into the final game then. So, we're going to be using Crow, Piper, and Dynamite as recommended again. We face, I think, Rosa every single time. Rosa is crazy broken on this map. We're going to use our own slowing toxin to counter the Rosa so she can't actually push up on us. Piper, again, can be okay once you open up the map. Other than that, you're going to obviously really struggle at the beginning. Drage going to go in there. I think he might be able to score this. Oh, nearly. So, so close there. Let's jump on the Sandy. See if we can take him down quick enough. Both of them are going to go down. I'm going to be able to score just like that. So, Crow can keep his lane pretty much against a lot of different people, actually, on this map, if you play it correctly. But it's just more of a spam. If people have spammy comps, then it can be pretty hard for him to do anything. Rose is going to pop Gadget, but that's not going to be doing too much. Sandy's one shot as well. Should be okay. Drage going to try and pass it up. Don't think there's an opportunity to score though. Just a Rosa. I've got my slowing toxins, so we should be able to make something happen here. Okay, no. We'll be able to do that. Probably a bit rushed. Tom with a good stun. Looking like we're going to get our 15th win. So just the one loss for this one. Let's see if we're able to score. Yep, Drage able to score. So this should have really easily been a 15 and 0. To be honest, maybe I'll have to try this reverse control next time. It was 15 and 1 in the end, as I said. Could have clickbaited it, could have lied, but there's no real point in doing so. So that's going to be it. I will be showing you guys the battle log just to prove it. So you can see the three wins here. Three wins on split, pretty simple. Siege, we get three wins, but we get the one loss. As I said, that 8-bit on defense just absolutely shredded the bot. 
And then they got last robot and just unfortunately one got shooting style with those and we got gem grab so that's gonna be the 15 and 0 challenge completed with the worst combos in the game that's gonna be it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time